Kasom Sinari has um, actually come under a lot of criticisms for this past week. She actually made a comment, gave her opinion on an issue and it has sparked a lot of public outcry. If you've been on social media uh, quite recently, you might have come across it. Those of you who may not know her, is one of the, probably the most prolific um, movie actresses back in the early 2000s uh, for that matter. So um, she's actually uh, revered when it comes to uh, movies and actually in the society. Now, uh, on a movie premiere that it would soon hit uh, theaters, um, Zion Felix interviewed her and asked her what she makes of a, a role that has been given to her where uh, I think her, her child would have to uh, marry uh, a Christian you know, though she's a Muslim. And this is what she has to say. Because, Spain, I talked to a couple. One is a Christian, one is a Muslim. And they told me their story. It wasn't easy before they got married. I'm sure you have a, you, you have a child. When it gets to that situation, yeah. how are you going to handle it? I have two grown boys, 26 and 23. Mm -hmm. um, it's tough. I, I've, they are Muslims. They pray. And I always pray to God that they'll bring a Muslim girl for me to mm. accept because um, if it's a Christian girl it's all one God but I, I will pray that the girl becomes a Muslim well obviously that's her two cents um, and as she said uh, that's her opinion on the subject but uh, thinking about what she had to say and the sort of uh, bashing people are giving her people are taking her to the cleanest people are sorting here uh, here and there and all that and I I get to think about it and I'm like I didn't even think this was uh, really an issue so I heard her say it you know um, and I, I think this is one of the most delicate uh, matters that uh, we discuss as, as Ghanaians um, that if you think about it critically, education and civilization has been able to, I mean, so I thought, has been able to sort of, um, sort of kill it. So when she said what she said and the sort of response uh, that were coming at her, guys, um, let's be analytical here. Now, um, so, Back in the days, right? Back in the days, you sort of have your parents going to fetch a woman for you. Actually, um, you see a woman, you tell your parents about it, and they go fetch the woman for you to marry. Nowadays, it's not like that. You go fetch the woman, and you tell your parents about it for them to give their blessings to the marriage. Now, this matter to think of it has actually collapsed a lot of marriages and a lot of relationships for that matter me my personal experience as i stand here i schooled in an islamic university i've always lived in a, a muslim um, a environment anytime i've actually tried to uh, run a woman in my neighborhood uh, back then at school because I'm a Christian and they are Muslims, they tell me, oh, you are running after my, my, my coochie. Like, you are, not, you are not going to marry me. I mean, you and I know we are not going to get married and all that. But actually, there was once a woman that I, I really liked back on campus. I, I, I really, really, really liked that. I wanted to have a long-term um, establishment with the person. But the person didn't give me a chance just because I'm a Christian. See, what am I, what am I saying? Fun fact. Yes. This is the, probably the most delicate issue to discuss um, in our society because I, I feel um, when you marry somebody in, in Ghana, you marry into the person's home. So the woman sort of becomes, uh, the, the, the woman's family sort of becomes your family. Okay, so um, when your when your parents say, okay, I I'm not going to allow you to marry a certain kind of woman from um, from this tribe or a certain kind of uh, woman because the woman belongs to this denomination um, um, religious denomination, 
then it sort of becomes a problem because love we say supersedes all these um, kind of problems and well as long as you are in love with the person that's all that matters and all that but assuming you are a mother to cast some scenario and um, like you want to go and um actually be in a committed relationship then sort of marry Kasim Sinari's daughter this here is the woman that says that okay i'm not going to let my 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 child marry a christian because i'm a muslim you know sometimes i i i think that um this is an issue that is actually eating um relationships is an issue that is eating love and all that because Genuinely, I'm thinking if I belong to one religious denomination of some sort and you belong to another Why why don't we just understand marry you go to your mosque? I go to my church Why why can't that exist? You know, why should there be that strict measure that strict standard that okay because I'm a Muslim um, I would want the person who marries me, who marries my daughter, to also become a Muslim. I don't know, guys. I I, I, have, I have no idea why we have um, um, such problem. And you might think that she is actually the only person who has that view. If you go and check the 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 um, the messages and then the insults she's getting, and people are also um, actually also defending her. People are also defending her. That well. That's, that's her religion, that's what she wants uh, her child to, 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 to do. Who are you to go and say no? But then again, you know, social media, these young ones also get hold of this video and then understand that, okay, I'm a Muslim and I'm, I can't marry a, a Christian or I'm a Christian, I can't marry a, a, a Muslim. It makes us look as if we are different people. But what, what I know is that love is love, regardless of who the significant other is or regardless of who that love is going to, love is love. And you would assume that love would supersede uh, all these things. Uh, guys, to the reason why we are actually um, going into this is the sort of impact this is having on relationships and uh, the sort of impact that it's having um, in our society you understand for me as i stand here i don't know like i have not been able to date one single muslim girl though i live at fadama and though i attended an islamic school but honestly, the, the Christian people, the, the, the people that I, I schooled with who are Christian couldn't also date one Muslim girl. Because see, the Muslim girl, you, you know, will give you chance of make you talk. Like you, you know, go, like why? You are a Christian. Like as you they come, if be knock you, one can knock me, then go. So I, I, I won't even give you, like I won't give you any room for you to even express yourself. So it gets me thinking that yes, Whilst growing up, there were times that uh, my dad, may his soul rest in peace, uh, would tell me, eh, Kwesi, um, when, you, when you are older, I won't allow you to marry um, a tribe, uh, some particular tribe. Um, if you are married, if you, if you are going to marry, don't bring home some particular tribe. And okay, so I understood that, but as, as I age and uh, education and civilization and all that, um, uh, set in you know that no like so what if the person is from here or so what if the person is from this uh, 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 this tribe it doesn't matter at the end of the day guys um this has actually been the issue on the ground and custom scenario is actually getting it bigger and bigger and bigger people are dissing here some are supporting here let me know what you think about this discussion uh whether it actually you would be okay for either your sibling or your um yes either your child or whoever to go and marry from a particular kind of home or from a particular kind of um uh, religious denomination or particular kind of tribe and and all that let me know your thoughts uh, about it because i feel that um this is actually killing a lot of relationships and then killing a lot of love you know a lot of love and uh, fortunately 
people that I surround myself with are marrying from other tribes. They are not even marrying from their tribes. They are marrying from other tribes uh, and all that. So I think we are growing. I think civilization is catching up uh, with us. All these things are fading out. Even if she hadn't mentioned it on her on that platform, I don't think it's something that I people actually wake up to uh, think about. You understand? If you have any comment of uh, any sort uh, about this issue, kindly uh, comment under the comment section. Let's see your thoughts and opinions uh, about uh, this issue, guys. This has been what happened. If you enjoy this, kindly click here to watch my other videos. Whilst at it, make sure um, you hit the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video you'll be the first person to watch. Peace out.